Now, since that first unknown source case in Solano County, many there are understandably concerned. Some even going as far as stocking up on supplies in case they need to go under quarantine. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is live in Solano County for us tonight with the community now caught in the center of this outbreak. Rachel? Well, the calls are coming in from all over the world, and there's plenty of calls coming in from this area, and people are talking about it all over town in shopping centers just like this. Well, authorities want to educate people and inform them, but sometimes sounding the alarm is causing alarm for people in the community. Her view and her husband are preparing, stocking up at this Vacaville Costco in case they need to stay home with their five kids due to the threat of the coronavirus. There were a lot of people in especially there. Water. Yeah, especially water. So my husband decided to get uh, nine. nine cases. Well, of course, it's concern. It's a new, well, a newer virus. Things that are routine to us is, is an emergency to them. Dustin Kuntz is a paramedic with the Vacaville Fire Department on the front lines when people call in crisis. We've been more diligent about things. He says the 84 men and women he works with are already following CDC protocol for the flu. This is our, like our, our personal protective equipment kit. Now they're it's taking like it one gloves. step further. Our dispatch is trying to screen the calls more and then find out where if we need to put a gown on and eye protection and, uh, and splash protection over the mouth and nose. 76-year-old Etta Harris lives in Fairfield. She questions the way quarantined patients were transported at Travis Air Force Base and wonders if it led to the Vacaville woman contracting the coronavirus. You're going, there, you're going about your business and you don't know who you are being exposed to. So it's, I think it's kind of hard for them to say that she hasn't come in contact with anybody that had the virus. I kind of get a little nervous if somebody's near me and they're coughing, you know, and I think, ooh. This woman says it's the topic of discussion everywhere she goes. She, too, is buying in and buying supplies like toilet paper. You know, a little bit nerve-wracking when every time you turn on the TV, the focus is Solano County. And, you know, and I, I understand people are concerned about this. It's something to be concerned about, but not something to panic about. So much concern within city government in the city of Vacaville that staff met today, fire police and the administration talking about how to answer some of these questions coming in from the community. At this point in time, all calls, all protocol coming out of the county Department of Public Health, which is similar for many areas in this region. Rachel, thanks so much.